Alright, so we're going to start about DHCP services. So first thing to understand about DHCP, as I've been explaining about so much of what we're learning about network, DHCP is a what? It's a service. It's software. So if you're thinking DHCP server is this big box with all these uh, uh, Xeon processors and hard drives in it, no. It's what? Service. It's service. usually a service. So it can run on Linux. So DHCP services can be daemons running on a Linux box, which is very, very popular. So if I'm running DHCP services, Dynamics <coughs> Configuration Protocol, I'm offer I'm just it's to, if I run it on Windows Server, it's just a service. It's just software. So first thing we want to understand about DHCP is it's basically software running on something. A Linux box, a Windows server. Mr. Vanderpool, can I run DHCP server off my Windows 10 machine? Yeah. Yes. yes. You probably can find a free version of DHCP server that will run on a Windows PC. Generally, Microsoft gives you, when you buy a Windows server license, you get the ACP software. When you uh, when you download Ubuntu, you get it for free. So a lot of times people will run a DHCP software. Now we've also learned that you can have one of these guys. Uh, you can have a small ninety dollar little piece of plastic, and inside of it is a what? So basically, what they do is in the Linux, they run a daemon. A service in the embedded Linux and it provides a DHCP service. So first of all, what is DHCP? That's very, very important. What is it? It's to allow the ease of managing the distribution of IP addresses to all of your devices. So this is this is Diego's house. He's got a laptop, he's got an Android, a printer, an IP camera, and a PC. In order to make it very easy to make sure that everybody has IP addresses, subnet masks, because everything needs an IP address, a subnet mask, a DNS information, it needs a gateway IP, a gateway. He would have to go to every single device in his house and do what? Manually, manually configure that information. So DHCP just does it automatically. If we set up the software, you can say to the software, look, these are the IP addresses you can give away. And I want you to give away everybody an individual IP. Everybody always gets the same subnet mask. That's very important. In a local area network, listen carefully, in a local area network, Everybody has to have a unique IP, but the subnet mask will always be the same. the same. So the same subnet mask, we got to give them DNS information because if the cat wants to go to catnet.com, he better have a DNS IP because he won't be able to browse and find that website. The gateway IP is always this IP address. Right here, this interface, is your gateway IP address. That is what, is what we know as the router IP. Okay, So when I give IP information with this software, I want it to give everyone a unique IP, the same subnet mask, tell everyone the IP address of the gateway, yes, mm -hmm. and I want them to get, to get DNS information. So DHCP is basically going to autom is going to automate the uh, everybody getting this kind of information. I'm going to get an IP address. I'm going to get a subnet mask. Uh, notice DHCP only gives IP address information for a specific period of time. So it's you don't get it. We rent it. <laughs> so DACP doesn't give Diego an IP address. Listen carefully. It rents an IP address. And we always tell DACP server, after a certain amount of time, here we go, he obtained his rent of the IP address at 7.08, yes? Mm -hmm. We're taking it back 
unless he renews his lease, his rental, give it back. Remember, DHCP always leases IP address for a specific period of time. After that, if Diego goes on a vacation for two days, he goes to the beach and he freezes, that's fine. We're taking back his IP. Has everyone got that? Mm -hmm. He gets it for one day and that's it. Yeah. Now, can I adjust how long the DHCP software will give Diego an IP address? Yes, yes I can adjust that time. I'm also going to give him, what is this? Default gateway. What does that mean? That means the router IP. I've got to know my router. I also want to give him DNS information. So I have to give him DNS information, otherwise he can't find he can't find the IP address when he types in names. Catnip.com is not, look at me, catnip.com is not an IP address. Your browser needs an IP address. Yes? Yes. So DNS is going to do the magic of catnip.com is the IP address of? So if he can't find a DNS server, he's not going to be able to to do much surfing. In the world of IP addresses, we basically have three classes of IP address, class A, class B, and class C. You've got to memorize this. You've got to know it for your CompTIA A+. But basically, believe it or not, those are the IP addresses for class A, class B, and class C, okay? And here are the subnet masks. And over here is much more important information. These are the private these are the IP addresses that are pulled from this pool. Private IP addresses, class A, class B, and class C, are pulled out of that other. These are used in 90, look at me, 99% of the businesses in, in Orlando. They don't use these. They use these. And right now, our home router is using 192.168.1.2. Okay, so we're using the 1.1. So let me take, let's take a look at most, uh, let's take a look at our IP addresses. So here we go. I want to go back to my, so the idea is that DHCP software is going to give everyone automatically the printer, the Android phone, the IP camera, the PC, it's going to give it a unique what? IP. Now does it give it or lease it? Lease. Lease it. Leases it. Leases it. It gives them all the same subnet, subnet mask. It's going to give them DNS information and a gateway IP. All right, so let's go look at what we're going to do. Most home routers use what's known as a class C address. It's a class C address. So this 192.168.1.0 gives you a set of IP addresses from 0 to 255. In other words, look over here. In other words, my first IP address in this home router is going to be 192.168.1.0. This one you never use. Why? You never use the first IP. No. It is reserved as the the IP address that describes your network. So the first one, zero, is never used. It is used by only one device on your, it's used by the router. The router keeps this IP address right here in its routing table. The only person that uses that first IP is the router. You do not assign it to a printer, look at me. You do not assign it to a workstation. You don't give it to your mobile phone, okay? You will have big time problems. It's never used. Now, notice the next IP address, 192.168.1.1, is almost always what? It's this one, look very carefully. On this side, this is your LAN. This network card right here on this side of the router is given 192. 
Now your router has to have another IP over here, and we'll talk about that later. It's got to have, because it's got a network card over here, it's got a network card over here, and a router in between. Each network card must have an IP what? So this one on your LAN, this is, this is your local area network is always going to be 192.168.1.1. Now some routers, like the one I have, I have a, a D-Link, they use 192.168.10. It doesn't matter, okay, as long as it's a class C and it's private. So in my house, it's 192.168.10.0, and then 1234567, and I can give IPs out. But the zero, I do not use, even in my home, because it's only used by the router. router. We'll explain that more. Now, the first IP in my list of IP addresses is going to be given to the router interface. That's going to be the 192.168.1.1. Now, what about all the rest? From .2, .3, .4, .5, .6, .7, .8, .9, .10, .11, .12, .13, .14, .15, .16, .17, .18, .19, .20, .21, .22, .23, .24, .25, .26, .27, .28, .29, .30, .31, .32, .33, .34, .35, .36, .37, .38, .
<coughs> starting at dot two, dot three, all the way up to 49, yes? Will, will the DHCP ser server give those away? No. No. What about all the IP addresses at 101? Yeah. It's not going to give those away. So those are available, but not in the DHCP server. Why do I do that? Because, remember back here? Let's go back here. This is why this is very important. I don't want to give my DHCP server every IP address I have. Why? Because if you look at Diego's house, he's yeah. got some very important things that don't need to be on DHCP. Let me show you. What devices in, in his house need to get an IP address and keep that IP address right. all the time? Camera. 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 Yes. He's got some devices. Now, can his PC get a new IP address? Yeah. No problem. Mm -hmm. But what devices need to keep their IP and not lose it? I think I'm ready to number. So the camera needs to have a, a permanent IP address, and what about this? Printer. Yeah, because if your printer IP changes every month, you're going to have a hard time printing to it. Okay? The reason why I shrunk my giveaway IP range just to 50 is because I have lots of IPs before 50 and after 100 that I could assign to what? Printing account. Oh, okay. So now I could do this. I could go to the printer and give it uh, 192.168.1.51. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. And then I'd give it 255.255.255.0. That would be the subnet mask. Its router IP would be 192.168. 8.1. And then I would give it DNS information. So I would plug all that in and I would never have to worry about the lease expiring on the printer and it getting a new what? IP address. Then I go to the IP camera. Watch here. I could go 192.168.1.49. Yes? And I could do 255.255.255. 5.0, that would be the subnet mask. And then I would go 192.168.1.1, which is the gateway. Everybody with me? And I plug in my DNS. Would my IP camera ever lose its IP address? No. Does that make sense? Yes. By controlling how I lease, and that's exactly what you're going to do in a business. For the record, yes. I blew it here, and those people in video land will go, what in the world? He just gave it a... So it's actually 151, yes? <laughs> Thank you, Diego. <laughs> that does make a difference. Because you're going to have printers on your business network. You're going to have servers that want static IP addresses. You're going to have security cameras. You're going to have a lot of things that need an IP that doesn't change. You're going to do the same thing with your IP address. You're going to go here and say, although I have a thousand IPs, I got a class B address, I've got plenty of IP addresses, I'm going to give my DHCP server a pool of leasable addresses and I'm going to keep the rest for servers, cameras, printers. In this case, if I was getting Bright House, I could go find their DNS servers and type them right in. Now, notice this other one called WINS. WINS is an old technology developed by Microsoft. WINS, it's testable. This is a CompTIA A plus testable question. WINS is an old, you have to have very gray hair to remember WINS. WINS is an old Microsoft technology, a software service. It helped you find computers.